Craig here. I've gotten some new alarms over the past couple of days. Here's one of them. You can see that it's branded as Fike. It's got a little lift cover on there and it kind of looks like a Firelight BG-8 or a Notifier BNG-1. Big fire lettering on the sides. In the back you have some terminals and a very, very odd looking switch. So this is a Fike model number MP1TD. The switch rated 5 amps at 125 or 250 volts AC. Dated September 30th, 1990. So there's your weird little switch. It's kind of off to the side of the unit. And it has a little spring in there that holds the cover in place. So this does open with a category 15 key, also known as the notifier 17021. Use that to reset the unit. For comparisons, I'm going to bring out my Notifier BNG-1TS and my Notifier BNG-1RL. Now, biggest and most obvious difference between them is the little dual action cover on the Fike one. Uh, they all do open with the same keys, so I can open these two with the Category 15 key that I got with the Fike unit. Although... The BNG-1TS doesn't necessarily like that key. Um, I don't exactly know why. I'm trying to show you here if I can find the key on my giant stash of stash of them. There it is. So it doesn't necessarily um, like it. I don't know why. Find the notifier key here. I'll show you that they are like extremely similar. Oh, shoot. Where'd you go? There you are. So yeah, they are extremely similar, like I said. So as to why this one won't take the Category 15 keys beyond me, because the BNG-1RL will. And the MP1TD will as well. Yeah, it just does it just it doesn't like it for some odd reason. So, similarities between the units, obviously the front cover is almost essentially the same in design. This one is like a, just a little bit thicker. Uh, switches are greatly different. Um, these two use springs. It's because these were made, I believe, before the uh, ADA requirements of a maximum of 5 pounds of force to operate a full station. Although this one is obviously not as stiff as the notifier BNG-1RL. Um, lift cover, like I said, is obviously different. Uh, on the back, obviously this has wire leads. These two have terminals. This one's terminals are a bit smaller and this one, uh, this one also only uses two wires there to connect the switch. Well, this one uses four. So yeah, this is the first knockoff BG-8 that I have in my collection. Um, I kind of like it. 
in that it's obviously different and it's dual action. But then again, it just overall looks kind of weird. So that's it for that. I got two more devices to show off here.